Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories as well, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you will find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways, there's pretty much always a giveaway going on because there could always be a secret password hidden in one of the videos and of course you'll find out whenever I go live I am planning on going live on Sunday May 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific so hopefully I will see some of you there for that as always if you're already subscribed thanks again so much for being here and welcome back so recently I did start a Facebook group for subscribers of this channel called the no bot nook it's a long story about why I call viewers no bots but it's a cute one and that's just a place for us to talk about subscription boxes and to support each other and just kind of generally hang out but I did ask a question I did conduct a poll to see which boxes they would like to see on the channel and I've had my eye on quite a few now usually now that I've had my channel for over two years I will reach out to a subscription box company first and see if they would like to collaborate if they would like to send me a box so that I can review it on the channel sometimes they get back to me sometimes they do not and I'm not opposed to paying for boxes it's not as if I expect all of my boxes to be sent to me for free and they are not all sent to me for free but I definitely consider uh, that first interaction that first bit of communication with a box as part of my review so this is a box that I've had on my radar for quite a bit of time and when I did the poll everyone in the Facebook group was like this was their top choice by far so I went ahead even though I hadn't heard back from her I went ahead and purchased a box and then when I received the box and said hey I'm gonna review it on my channel I reached out and asked if I could get a coupon code and I do have a coupon code for you guys so good news so the box you're probably wondering if you didn't already read the thumbnail is the a wild woman box which is such a great concept there's not really anything out there in the lifestyle subscription box space that is quite like this one I've definitely looked at other sort of outdoorsy camping subscriptions like nomadic or cairn and they're just a little bit too much like gear oriented so I kind of liked this one because it did definitely have I mean it has woman in the name so it definitely has that sort of more uh, female lifestyle box kind of vibe to it I also just really love their bear logo which which I think is really cool. So the box itself is $37.95 per month plus $6.95 in shipping. So with the tax, because I get charged tax here in California, it's kind of veering closer to $50 a month. Obviously you get a little bit of a savings if you do a multi-month subscription. That code that I was talking to you about is just Noel. That'll save you 15%, which I think is pretty good. She gave me a second code, Noel Shop, and that will save you 15% in the shop that has past boxes and some other stuff. So let me just read the description for you so you get a better idea of what this box is all about. It says every box includes four to seven items valued at over $50. So you're definitely getting your money's worth because again, shipping these days is expensive. She is definitely sort of subsidizing the shipping with that pricing. It says in each box, you will see gear that will keep you ready for what lies ahead. Body products that support your outdoor lifestyle, fuel, AKA snacks. And we love a good snack here to keep you energized and inspiration items to keep you connected to the outdoors, whether you're out exploring or stuck at home, whether you're a casual wanderer or a weekend backpacker or somewhere in between, I think I'm like further, like I'm a maybe once a month, like hiker um, it says the wild woman box is curated to make the outdoors feel more accessible and inclusive with includes items that can be put to use right away or thrown in your hiking pack for your next adventure day so I do definitely have like a, a hiking pack and I definitely have you know my all trails app and everything so and I'm always in the mood for a good snack or just a little urban hike around the neighborhood with my airpods in so I was just really excited to finally get to review this box so hopefully we like it and let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see it here on the channel obviously if she does get a few people who subscribe using that code then maybe you'll see it here a little bit more often and that is what I'm hoping for so let's go ahead and open it up so inside this is what it looks like there is like a little card right on the top it says wild woman principle number 53 so I'm guessing we probably get a principle every box so that means this box has been around for quite a while it says do you ever notice that when you're around someone you really like or you're doing something that really interests you you tend to linger I've got the cranberry song like running through my head right now you stay in that moment longer than you need to you avoid leaving not just that place but that feeling you choose to feel good 
you choose to be present. I think that is awesome. It says, that's what lingering is all about. But when life has us burnt out, busy and distracted, we don't have time to linger. Or rather, we don't recognize the things that would normally have us soaking in those good feelings. It's so easy to linger, right, when you're outdoors and you're in this beautiful landscape too. This month, slow down. When something feels good, gives you energy, or settles you, choose to linger. Stay in that place and lock that feeling in. Being present is the best way to recognize what's important to us. Allow yourself to stay a while. The moments you linger in will tell you a whole lot about where you should be spending your time and you deserve it. So this little principle, this little card might be like my favorite thing in the box. And I think that's just like a bonus thing that's in there every month. I think that is a fantastic idea. Definitely has some like Hugo vibes to it. So we just have some nice forest green tissue paper that says a wild woman. I don't know if I would consider myself a wild woman, um, but I do like to try to get outdoors a little bit more. So we do just have like a simple little half sheet of a product card. I will prop that up in front of me. She did include the retail values, which you guys know I definitely appreciate it. Let me just do some quick math. It looks like we have got six items in addition to our our principal card So I'm seeing a total value of about 30 uh, 40 50 a little over $50. So like as promised. All right, so let me go ahead and go ahead and get the first item out so I kind of opened it up and um, let me just toss that back in there so you can kind of see everything's just in there I think she's like a one-woman show this is definitely a small business if that is something that is important to you this is just it says Harlow Road citronella and geranium um, so it says five count wood balls scented scent with essential oils so that's kind of nice like a nice uh, wood ball diffuser set I guess so let's see what it says about this this is a value of $13 these wood balls are soaked in scents um, let's see what it says soaked in scents blended with essential oils that will last a few weeks after being removed from their packaging their outdoor specific balls are soaked in citronella to act as a natural mosquito deterrent this wood ball solution eliminates the need for flames sprays or wax making them camping and tent safe so i'm going to go ahead and open them up it is a resealable pouch which is kind of awesome so there's definitely some moisture in there and they definitely smell like citronella. So that's what it looks like. So you can just keep this in your pack. So again, there are five of them in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cinch that right back up. Um, this is pretty awesome, you guys. Citronella and geranium. I'm mostly smelling the citronella, but I love the idea of having that just outdoors or in your pack and not having to put sprays on. That's like the worst. Um, I do like a good citronella candle when I'm at home and like, not entertaining in my non-existent backyard but sitting out on my patio but that's also like a great thing just to have cool all right we also got some stickers so we have a wild woman sticker so there is one right there gotta love that again i just think that emblem is really really cool and then we got a couple more so there's two keep nature wild stickers that have a value of eight dollars total so four dollars each this one says collect moments not things keep nature wild and of course it's got this like vintage looking camera which um i definitely like because Photo taking is one of my favorite things about being outdoors. I know it is not all about what you put on the gram, but you know, I definitely like to commemorate the adventure. And then this one looks like Monument Valley. It says, take the scenic route and also has kind of a nice fun retro vibe. So it says, it's always nice to include something in the wild woman box that helps you feel connected to the outdoors in your day-to-day -day life when you might be stuck adulting instead of adventuring. Throwing a sticker on your water bottle, laptop, phone case is an easy way to have that little reminder that the wild is right inside of you. These two stickers you receive are water resistant and dishwasher safe and covered in a protective UV coating. So they're not gonna fade and get gross looking which is awesome. All right, what else? We have something that was definitely supposed to be holding something onto something else. So I'm guessing it was on this little card. So let me see what this is. This is, um, what is this? This is a night night eyes next glow visibility marker so yeah this is definitely what that is so this is a value of six dollars it says unlike any other glow in the dark technology the next glow is high performing charging adjustments and lasting for hours adding to increased invisibility its glow can be charged from both natural and artificial light sources and is attachable with its included s beaner clip which is awesome it says the next glow is perfect for tent zippers backpacks keychains and more what a great idea to put it on your tent zipper or when you're like where is that I need to get out or I need to get in so again it just has that s clip so that it goes in either direction let me see if I can actually get that to go yeah so it's just like a little bit tight a little bit snug the s clip but it says that it charges in minutes and glows for hours so I guess you just like put it in the light to uh, charge it up 
which is pretty darn cool again. So yeah, let's see if I can get that to open up. Let's see, there we go. All right, so pretty useful item. I think that's cool, six bucks. Let's get to some snacks though, shall we? So this is a Quantum Energy Square, ooh, good flavor. It's Cafe Mocha Almond Chip, plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO. The caffeine it equals a one cup of coffee. So sometimes when you're on the trail or just at your desk, you need a little pick-me-up. So this sounds really good to me. So this is a value of three bucks. It says these bars are made with fruits, nuts, and seeds alongside natural caffeine, giving you a jitter-free source of energy that's evenly absorbed into your body. Not only will it perk you up, it's also certified plant-based and gluten-free and contains 10 grams of protein, yes, to keep you feeling fueled for those long days on the trail. So um, my husband will probably steal that. I'm actually like doing a little juice cleanse right now, so I can't, I don't get a chance to like try it quite yet but um, maybe that would be that's always a good thing to have in your in your pack for yourself or anyone else who just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up I was definitely glad that we had a couple of those uh, energy bar type things with us when we did a little hike last two weekends ago actually already this is all good goop it says skin recovery balm oh I love these kind of sort of all-purpose balms and this is a pretty good sized one let's see what this is it says a value of 10 bucks it says this salve is a personal favorite with tried and true results it's made with natural ingredients that are easy on sensitive skin feels a lightweight and non-greasy it's on all all-purpose ointment perfect for scrapes bug bites dry and chapped skin burns blisters and eczema which I definitely suffer from sometimes keep this in your pack your road trip kit or in your at-home stash of personal care items so gotta love a good everything balm um, to you know those dry bits those crusty bits those ouchy bits uh, and then I think we have one final thing and we'll go over everything of course at the end this is like neon so this looks like some gear the staying alive bandana which Yes, I think of the Bee Gees, but then I also think of CPR training, right? Um, so it says, the priorities for survival printed with reflective ink for ultimate visibility. It is 100% cotton, uh, machine washable, and made in the USA. So it just looks like a bandana. I do like a good buff, like the stretchy ones that you can't actually use as a face mask, but I just use them to protect me from dust or to wet and wear around my neck when I'm getting overheated. But let's see what this one says. Oh, this one is very like survival oriented. It's, so it's actually tough tells you what to do. This is interesting. So you guys can see, I'll show you like one section there. It says this bandana is a survival guide you can carry in your back pocket. It contains several helpful survival information uh, about the top four survival priorities, shelter, water, fire, and food. This bandana is printed with high visibility reflective ink, which makes it ideal for marking a shelter or landmark at night. When hit by a beam of a flashlight, it will light up like a Christmas tree. So that is so awesome. So you can kind of see these reflective dots. Can you guys see those reflective dots there? So that's what's going to light up when it hits the light. Um, so let's see what it actually says on there. It says observe, think, um, plan and stop. Stop, observe, plan, and think. Um, and so we have all of our information for water, which is, well, let's see. Let's start with number one, shelter, right? So if you find yourself outside, survival priority number one, it tells you what to do, shelter from cold or heat. Um, let's see, then for water, survival priority number two, um, of course, it tells you to like filter, boil, treatment tablets, solar, etc. Fire, survival priority number three, how to create it, um, how, what kinds of like fuel sources you can do, what things you need to heat. And then finally, for food, survival priority number four, it talks about common edible plants, insects, and animals. So I actually think that is really cool to just sort of have this, I mean, just to like keep you calm, I feel like in certain situations, but so many purposes. Um, if you're out in the great outdoors, you probably kind of already know those priorities and what to do, and you probably have like a pretty solid day pack and plan. But I love that this is bright orange and reflective and um, just seems pretty usable. It's actually pretty soft. You can kind of see it's pretty sheer. It's like nice and lightweight. So you could definitely use that as a, t as a bandana around your neck, same purposes in terms of like, a buff you could cover your face to protect you from dust you could wet it to kind of cool yourself off my husband likes to wet his bandanas and actually put them under his hat so that he feels a little bit cooler so that's actually a pretty cool like a uh, gear item I wasn't sure if I would like really love that um, and I kind of love this box because yes it's like 
technical and it has some gear items but at the same time it does have like fun little like lifestyle items like stickers that I feel like some other subscription boxes in this niche don't necessarily have and then it's not necessarily just another excuse to send you like girly uh, or all natural um, self-care products right so I think it's a great concept I would love to see another one so you guys let me know what you think about the wild woman box what your favorite item was let me know what like your favorite uh, camping story or hike was uh, in recent memory or if you have anything planned for the summer because I know a lot of us are ready to get out and about once again. I'm pretty excited about this goop. I think that I have to figure out how and where I'm going to use those citronella balls because luckily we don't have too many insect issues here. I'm super excited about the snack in all honesty and I'm also glad that there was only one snack because sometimes I feel like snacks even though I definitely appreciate that fuel can kind of be like a filler and not a super high value item so I definitely I think this box was worth it. I was a little bit trepidatious about that, but I, I thought it was pretty good. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and maybe linger a little longer on my channel. I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.